Welcome guys to my share of my autumn day book, autumn 2020. So um, this, um, very similar style, so that was for the spring, this is what I used for the summer, for the summer months, and this uh, cover I actually had earmarked um, for a while, so I've um, added little bits to it, as you can see, and popped the vintage fabric on the back uh, of the spine and on the inside too, and kept the, the inside pages as is. Um, as per usual for me, um, I've popped in bits and pieces. Um, that first image was from Graphic 45, the fashion forward that I've used throughout the three journals and um, in the collection I've just done as well. Printed out some digis this year uh, this uh, for this book too, from Mrs Cogs and from um, nevermorecreations.com. Um, pop papers in like this that are already um, have a vintage feel to them from Amazon. Uh, a page there, journal page from the Graphics Fairy. And also tea dyed um, and used quite a lot of the, um, oh, what's the word, watercolour pages. Oh, this is actually from the book, the original book uh, itself, you know, the cover that I've used. And there are a few little pages that um, I've distributed throughout the whole collection. Um, but yes, as per usual, oh, I lo love those colours. That's from the Reader's, uh, Reader's Digest book I have. I popped um, some napkin over um, some vintage paper, added some My Daphne's Diary, and that's the end of the first signature. Second signature has the um, Lindsay Zunor's Old Books Digi on the front, and um, featured there too. Um, some books on um, pages from tree books that I have, um, Reader's Digest, um, uh, let me think, Oxford book of birds and the um oh i love that love that front cover for uh, a, a book that i have in my stash love this image and love the poem to go with it and it goes really nicely with the october feel of when you get your your first coats and scarves out for the season i liked that I liked that a lot so um so yeah this is it this is the journal undressed um, and what I'll do in a mo, um, I shall switch the camera off and then, oh, love that poem, love that poem. I love the way the colours sit with that and that poem, um, that, that beautiful page is the other side to that poem, if you see what I mean. I have a sort of like country village walk on a winter's evening or an autumn evening even. Beautiful, beautiful, um just fun i don't mind random pages um it's not for everybody i do appreciate that so what we're going to do in a mo um i think that's a digi uh, they're, they're all the digis are actually on my youtube videos um for the collection i've shown uh listed everything that i've used in this and and the other journals too for the autumn uh first time i've done a collection like so anyway We'll switch the camera off in a mo when we get to the end. Um, oh, I love that. Love those colours. Love, love, love these colours. And then um, I'll decorate September and we'll come in and do a share of um, sep uh, September all embellished. See you in a mo. So, there we have it. And I've just finished decorating the uh, my pages for September. So that's just the first signature. Um, so the first thing I did was I've just picked up some, uh, I thought I'd pop some stickers, number stickers on the, on the front here and I might do something else. I might do something else. I'm not sure. Not sure. Haven't decided what to, um, tie it with yet either. So that's a work in progress. But the first thing I did was on the front page here was, um, get my stamps out and, um, I didn't want, I didn't like the glaring white, so um, I basically layered some of my stamps, my leaf stamps, and I tried to pick out the colours of the Daphne's Diary here, which I really like. I really like those subtle kind of muted tones with the hydrangea, and I thought it went really well with the, um, with the uh, Graphic 45 for the lady. Uh, I think this is for November, actually, in the November um, paper pad, but there you go. What to do here, not much there, just a bit of stamping here. I did a little um on this page here, 
on the back of this page I just added um, also some packaging I found just some packaging I found I added some packaging a little bit of the um, oh what's the word mm, not affirmations paper I can't remember what that's called now but anyway this paper um, this I did that and this was just a negative from the um, some little stamps that I had little stickers this is a um, this is from Kew Gardens uh, the Kew Gardens uh, botanical um, botanicum postcard set and I thought that looked really nice like a little window almost but popped it in there for the sake of it and so that was on the back of this um, I think this is design expressions um, uh, paper um, and I've just stamped so I've stamped these dates on these um, the numbers are just going to be for my mainly my daily scripture my daily scripture thought so that's what I've done here so for the first um, and this time round I'm going to use it probably the first half the signature for my script daily scripture and thoughts and my second half for other notes because especially with Taya being schooled at home now there's so much more to remember on a daily basis so yeah just layered up some of the um, mm, sticker stamping little stickers decided to pop that in I really like that grateful and blessed I think that's beautiful and that I but I just love the back of it as well didn't want to um cover that up and that was just the little page do you remember the little flip out page from the uh reader's digest pay uh, paper that I had um Mrs Cox classics and I just spread it across the two pages with the Tracy Fox label and the stamping and just uh a little number there. I did that, one of the words. Stamping. It's simple really. You know you know me. I don't really go to town, but I like a little bit of little bit of interest. Um stamping again. This is from um do you know what? The description of these, all the, the little bits and pieces are on my on the YouTube. I might actually tell you what. I'll link it below for the um, the two uh, from the collection that I have that I put together uh, for sale. Um, all the different pieces I've used are on there. So, so this is from Graphics Fairy uh, from one of their journal pages. What I really love, really liked that. And uh, yeah, recently uh, picked up. Uh, I've had three actually, like ready-made. Um, African style head wraps from this company in America and uh, I just love the little I just think it's really lovely and so I popped her on and um, I came with the packaging with the last one I had I just love the colours they're kind of autumnal so I've popped her in there and this is just going to be for my daily scripture thought and uh, so stamping I just love these they're beautiful beautiful and I think it's from Digital Expressions CA from Etsy I think that's who those are from uh, done with stamping again I love this I love these um, stamps and I just bought them a few years ago maybe two years back it was a magazine you know you get the magazines that actually have um, the paper crafting magazine you get like a, a stamp set with them and the magazine costs about seven pounds which seems a lot but you get this whole sheet a beautiful autumnal stamps and so I've given them a run out this year I think they look lovely and I've used them in the whole collection and I thought why not use them for me too this is a lovely lovely um uh, this was actually from this book as well um as you know there we go and I just thought that's going to make a lovely center um center page and I just love I really do like the um the poem they left as is. This was um, from my one of my Daphne's diary. I think it was from the issue, the crafting issue they did in the summer. And so I popped. Uh, I thought he looked rather jolly, to be fair. He looked rather jolly, didn't he? So I thought, yeah, he could go in there. Just one of the faux leaves that I found. Um, I I went to the works the other day. Didn't find any. They've had them two years in a row. And they didn't have any, but this is just found on the bottom of my stash box. And I think it looked really nice there with the, um, oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to, I'm going to do it, aren't I? I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have 
paper pad. Anyway, I did a little um, share, a YouTube share of the paper pad a little about two, three weeks ago. Um, I think it's lovely. So I just um, popped this um, quote on here from um, Henry David Thoreau about the pumpkin and I used my pumpkin stamp because I thought, why not? And layered up a little piece, just a little bit of that. Oh, just a little of that paper. Feels so nice, it's got a real nice texture to it. Yeah, decided because this, the back of this had a little flower on it, which is lovely, but it was um, pink, pinky, pinky tones, which didn't really go with the look that I wanted. So I made a little pocket with it, put the um, uh, a thingy on it, you know, a little label, and uh, I popped that in there. Um, what's on the back of that? It's not really the colours that I want either for set, but yeah, it's not too bad. But the blue is not really my vibe on this, but you know. And now this little lovely was from the classics from um, Mrs. Cold Crafts. Beautiful. So I thought I'll just lay it there onto this um, watercolour paper. So nearly coming to the end now, I think. Oh, this is from Mrs. Cox Craft, which I managed to put on in a skew with fashion. Don't ask me why, but I did. Mrs. Cox Craft Classics as well. Oh, I love that. Love that. I've got to say, it's probably more October, isn't it? End of September, October time, you get the real vibrant colours. They're just on the turn now, I think. Just, just seeing them. Oh, I just love that. Mm, just on the turn and I thought I would just pop a little bit of and um, that's at the back of that was glaring white so just a little bit of that packaging I love this this gentleman here he's hold, hanging on to her every word which I think is lovely and um, this is now already a little bit of washi you know I love my vintage typewriter washi and um, stuck that down and just pop that on. That was from the fashion forward. Just sort of laid up a little. Just laid up a little bit here. I thought I would make a feature of this page. There's a little bit of washy here. Another one of those lovely labels. Um, falling leaves type thing. And um, I think this was from Artie Mays. I think it's from Artie Mays. And this is my Daphne's diary. That's from the Daphne's diary for September from the planner. That's just a little bit of, yep, yep. What did I do? I think I might have popped that on the back. Yes, I did pop that on the back. I, this is from my November spread from last year, but I love it. And it's in, um, I've put, I've shared it in uh, amongst the collection of the Orphan Abundance collection. And I have popped a little, a few little bits um, in for October. So I did pop the quote on and I found this little leaf. I'm going to do something with that. I'm not quite sure what for October, but that's it really for September. So September's done. I can start working in her now. Simple though, isn't it? Simple, but that's how I like to, that's what I like to do. Anyway, thanks for joining me guys. And um, I will be starting my, um, I've got some custom orders for some, Rejoice um, Circuit Assembly double journals. Um, and I'm going to be making some just to sell as well. So that will be my next, in the next few days. I'm going to start that. And then I've got a lovely custom order for a, a kind of UK countryside um, journal, which I shall be starting. And a gift journal as well for a friend going back to Germany. So it's going to be a busy, busy few weeks. Busy few weeks. Uh, take care, guys. Uh, stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.